Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And today is one of my favorite videos of them all because it is Hocus Pocus and I am doing the Sanderson Sisters, but I'm kind of doing a modern version of the Sanderson Sisters. So, I'm so excited about this. I absolutely love Hocus Pocus. It's one of my favorite Halloween movies with Halloween Town, well, all the Halloween Town, and Nightmare Before Christmas, although Nightmare Before Christmas is acceptable year-round. Fight me on it. Change my mind. Boom. <laughs> Sorry, that was kind of aggressive. Anyways, I'm really excited about this. Um, first, obviously, we're doing Sarah. I've already done my base and my brows and my contour and my highlight. Um, the nice thing about these looks, they all build off of each other, which is awesome! So with Sarah and Mary, they're a little bit more smoky eye, and Winifred is a little bit different. Hers is more a brown and just contoured eye kind of look. Um, so we'll start with a full base, full, full base, uh, a different base with hers. Oh, I forgot my headband. Um, I realize when I'm wearing this, just this, I look kind of like Eleven off of, uh, off of Stranger Things. I didn't mean for that to happen. So, plus, I get started. So I've already put my eye primer on, but I want to show you what I'm using. I'm using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Eyeshadow Primer, and the palette I'm going to be using for all three looks is the Kat Von D Shadow and Light Eye Palette. We are mostly going to be using this transition color and this black proper. So let's go ahead and get to it. So I'm going to use this transition color right here and putting that into my crease. Now that is all done, I'm going to go into this black right here and smoke out my lower lash line first. Okay, now you're going to do pretty much the exact same thing on your upper lash line. Now once you're done with that, if you ended up bringing your eyes to kind of a cat eye, uh, I wanted to keep mine a little bit more round, so I kind of just wiped those off and kept them just a little bit more round, a little bit more tapered. Um, so you just throw some mascara on after that. And I'm using the Essence Get Big Lashes Volume Curl Mascara. Okay, so your mascara is done. Sarah's lips are probably the darkest out of all of them, so I'm using the Kat Von D Everlasting Lip Liquid Lipstick in Vampira. And you are almost done. 
you still have the little mole on her chin to do. So I'm using the Kat Von D ink liner and trooper to map out my mole. Now her mole is on the right side of her face under her lips on her chin. And we are done. See, this was super easy. And that's the really fun part about this. It's super easy, it's extremely wearable, and you probably already have all that you need for this. Um, but yes, boys love me. Now let's move on to her older sister, Mary. Okay. Now, let's do Mari. So you're going to keep the smoky eye, but you're going to smoke out the top a little bit more. Now you can just do that with your brush. Or you can take a little bit of that transition color that we used and just use that. So with Mary, I want to give her a cat eye. So we are going to use that Kat Von D ink liner in Trooper and give ourselves a wing. Okay, Mary's mole is up here by her nose on the left side of her face, so let's go ahead and do that one. And her mole is a lot bigger than Sarah's is. And her lips are a little bit more brownish red, so I'm just gonna go with a brown. And I am using the Milani Amour Matte. And this one is in Crush. And this is their lip cream. And here's Mary. Can I just say I kind of made Mary look like look pretty B.A. <laughs> this is like a cross between Amy Winehouse, Mary, and uh, Kat Von D. <laughs> it's just, I really like it though. Not gonna lie. You have to be able to get the, the Mary lip cock in there. Yep, there it is. I smell children. On to Winifred. You're pretty much going to start with a clean slate. Okay, let's do this. The last Sanderson sister. If you know what that's from, comment down below and we can be best friends forever. Anyways, let's go ahead and get on into this. We are going to go into this transition color. Hers is going to be a little bit cooler than the other two. So let's just do this. You're going to take that color into your crease. Now I'm going to go into this brown and this brown and do a combination and darken up that crease a little bit. Now we are going to take that small fluffy brush and go into that transition color that we had earlier and drag that across the bottom lash line. Okay, now we are going to go into this brown right here and kind of do that all over 
the lid and onto the crease. And now we are going to give her a wing with the Kat Von D ink liner and true blur. You guys are doing that. And now throw on some mascara. And now for the lips. I actually kind of want to show you. I really want to do how she does her lips. So I'm going to take some concealer to the corners of my lips. And then I will do hers. And then I will just do some normal. So I'm using the Kat Von D lip liner, the Everlasting Lip Liner in Outlaw and the Liquid Lipstick in Outlaw. And there are her lips usually, kind of in a heart shape. She always looks like she's pursing her lips. Okay, now I'm going to fill them out normally. Now Winifred is all done. My favorite line of hers is, look, another glorious morning. Makes me sick. Cause that's me every morning. It's true. Story of my life, really. Well, thank you guys so much for tuning in to this video. It made me really excited to be able to do all three of the Sanderson sisters. They were a lot of fun to do. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure you turn on your notifications bell because October is not done yet. And I want you to see the rest of them because they're all gonna be awesome. But thank you guys so much again, and I will see you next time in the next video. I put a spell on you to watch. Bye! -bye.